what is up? Welcome to a new video. I'm Raneem and yes, I am pretty tanned. It's because I spent the last five weeks in Fuerteventura. I decided to just work from there and on the one hand I got super nicely tanned but on the other hand also it took a little bit of a toll on my hair. Um, right now they're quite shiny and nice so you don't really see it that much but my ends are actually quite dry and damaged. I have a lot of split ends and in general I feel like I kind of want to refresh my hair with a little cut so I want to trim the ends and I also want to bring back in a few more shorter layers because the shortest layer right now is actually pretty long as you can see here. Um, also cutting my bangs has been a few months now so I might take one or two centimeters off there as well. So in general I just want to help my hair recover from the sun damage it has taken and bring in a little bit of shape again. So the technique I will be using today is the triple unicorn cut. I'm gonna go maybe two centimeters on the long ends but then I'm gonna go I'm gonna cut a little bit more uh, on the layer side just you know to have a little bit more of volume up here because as you guys know volume is always kind of the problem with that kind of fine hair that I have or maybe you have as well. So if you're interested then stay tuned. So I just made my hair completely wet and all you need today are scissors, do not take your kitchen scissors please, a brush and a hairband. I'm gonna start by combing my hair all the way to the front and if you feel like your hair is difficult to comb through, feel free to add a little bit of conditioner to your hair to make it easier to comb through. Make sure that everything is neat and tight and then just take your elastic band and fix your hair like you were a unicorn. I recommend doing a little pull test. So what you do is you take a strand from the upper part of the unicorn and then you need to feel that pinching in the back of your head. If you want to feel extra safe before cutting, you can take a second hairband and fix the end of your hair to indicate where you want to take the cut. But I have quite thin hair, so it wasn't really a big deal. So I just started cutting no matter what. So here I just fixed uh, the tiny ends to make it a bit more even. If you want, you can also cut straight lines into your hair if you want to thin it out. But for me, really, I have quite thin hair, so I prefer to have it thick at the ends. It's time for the second unicorn and what I'm doing here is I'm sectioning off one third of my hair, so the longest parts I would say and um, I'm brushing through to kind of make it tidy. If you want, you can be a bit more precise with the sectioning. Um, yeah, I could have done it a little bit more neat, but you know, if you have curly hair, I think it's fine. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then just follow with the same procedure. Don't forget the pull test. The only thing that we're doing differently here is that we're gonna cut a diagonal cut and not a straight one because this will intensify the layers even more. And we're cutting the diagonal away from the face, so from down to up. So I cut off here 8 to 10 centimeters and yeah, my face says it all. I think I was quite surprised by how much I cut off. But there is no going back so we're going forward with the third unicorn and we have the same procedure here again. Um, I'm leaving just the bangs part and actually the upper crown of my head for the last section. This cut is also diagonal and in total I think I cut here like two to three centimeters off. Voila! 
that just happened. I must say, I really like it. And I must also say that I was super, super worried, especially after the, no, during the second unicorn cut, I really cut a lot. Like I cut 10 centimeters off and it was much, much more than uh, the other unicorn cuts. I mean, I did it intentionally because I wanted to have these layers quite up high and short but afterwards I was like okay maybe it was a little bit too much so after drying and styling it I must say I really really like how it turned out the layers here turned out really really nice I still maintain the overall length the dry ends are gone and um, as you can see I, I didn't cut my bangs I was just after that cut I was just too nervous so I thought okay maybe I'll just see how it looks like first and then if I still want to cut it I can do it in another session. So if you want to see how I cut my bangs I have another video on that so just uh, check that out if you want to go uh, a step further. Alright let me better show you the cut. First of all from the back I think it really gave a lot of nice volume and, and it also freed up like the lower part or the length of my hair now it can curl way way better because there's no layer on top of it and this is I think the essential thing with curls if you cut it all in one length it um, doesn't give the curls the space in order to curl in a big way and uh, I think I generally have like way more volume now everywhere so at the top and even at the bottom so yeah I think the triple unicorn cut really really works if you want to do it yourself just be careful and i always let someone double check from the back if it's straight because sometimes some hair i don't know is longer than the other one so always have a, a second eye or a second person have a look if it's all straight from the back all right my friends so this was it i hope you enjoyed this video if yes don't forget to give a thumbs up and if you haven't yet also feel free to subscribe me in order to stay up to date with my next videos. I really like it. <laughs>